Oh, what's up guys? Uh, I'm just here gonna make a real quick video over my rod and reel arsenal. Uh, I'm gonna start with some of my lightest gear and then work my way up to my flipping pitching rods and my jig rods. Let's see. The first one I got here is my Hobby Garcia Cardinal. Just a light spinner. I got eight pound fluorocarbon tied on on a seven foot medium rod. I use this for mostly for finesse fishing or smaller ponds, smaller crankbaits, mainly just baits that you can't really throw with a bait caster. And then my first bait caster I ever bought was the Abu Garcia Pro Max. I got this paired on an Abu Garcia Vengeance rod. It's a uh, seven foot medium heavy with a immediate to fast action tip as you can see I throw jigs with it mainly like I said this is more of a multi-purpose rod it was my first one so it was mainly just a multi-purpose because I didn't have a lot of money to invest in a bunch of reels but for a $79 reel in a 7.1 to 1 gear ratio, this reel has pulled in some brutes. One of my buddies this past summer pulled in a 9.5 pound bass on a shaky head with this setup. By far the biggest fish that this rod has caught. And next up on the list, this is my only combo that I bought. This is actually my second bait caster. This is a Lose Mach 1 reel and rod. It's the uh, 610 medium heavy fast tapper. I mainly use it for spinner baits, uh, small worm like 3 16 ounce weights with a small finesse worm. Uh, at the time I caught this on sale for I don't know I think like 120 like two summers ago and this is probably the rod that I've caught my majority of fish on and then here we go I have my Lose Speed Spool LFS this is in the uh, five six to one gear ratio I have it paired up with a Dobbins furry rod it's a uh, it's the Dobbins 705 it's made for crankbaits and jerk baits it's a medium heavy with a fast action I like throwing the really deep 5xd Kevin Van Dam crank crankbaits that rod tip is just excellent you feel every little rock any little movement And then here in the past, I don't know, this past year I have been trying to make the switch solely to Shimano. This is the Shimano Canaan. I picked it up at the beginning of this season. Uh, picked it up for $79.99. It was on sale at Cabela's. I just paired it with a uh, Insight Pro Advantage rod. It's a seven foot rod. I'm throwing a quarter ounce tungsten weight with a little bobber stop. This is mainly my worm rod. It says it's a seven foot spinner bait slash worm rod. This is what I'm throwing my most of my worms on. But I bought this rod at Walmart for fifty dollars. And let me tell you, this thing has micro guides. It doesn't feel like a medium heavy, it feels more like a medium, but for 50 bucks paired with this reel that I paid a time $79 for, it is a hell of a setup. Uh, like I said, I use it for worm fishing. Uh, I did use it for spinner baits a little bit, but not a whole lot. And then like I said about the Shimano's, I bought this one uh, two weeks ago. This is the Shimano uh, Casitas. 
I also caught it on sale. It's regular, like 120. I think Cabela's had it for 99.99. They're all the 7.2 to one. All the Shimano's are, except for this next one. Paired with the uh, Boyd Duckett Ghost series, seven foot three heavy power. Um, this is my heavy cover worm rod, jig rod. This is what I've been using mainly now. Seems like the only time I go out on the kayak now, the only ones I pick up is my Shimano's and then my spinner just in case I come up in something shallow or something smaller. Big caster just won't really work. But like I said, for this rod and reel, I think I have about the total of like two, 220 in it. And I absolutely love it. I've only caught, I think, two or three fish with it so far. The one I did catch on this one was a, uh, it was a frog fish. Man, there ain't nothing like catching fish on a topwater frog. Which, since I bought this one, I've also recently bought the Shimano Caius. It's Shimano's, I believe it's their cheapest reel. This is a 6.3 to 1. It is not the 150 HG. It's just the regular 150 HD. HG is the high gear ratio. I have this paired on a 7 foot 9 Cabela's Tournament ZX rod and spooled up with 14 pound monofilament. This is now my uh, flipping and pitching rod, or my top water rod is what I've mainly been, been using it for. And for this reel to only be $79, it feels just as good, or if not better, than the Canaan. The only problem I had is I couldn't find it in the 150 HG. I like the higher gear ratios better, but I guess for top water, the 6.3 to 1 kind of works out a little bit better. Uh, so, that's just my starting lineup of bait casters and that one spinner. I have another spinner, but it's, I may let my girlfriend use it. It's just a 6.6 six rod medium with a uh, Bass Pro tournament reel on it. Not a whole lot to talk about, but... If y'all like this video, please subscribe.